call these car chats, shall we? Hey there guys, I am kid free for five minutes. So I wanted to jump on here and talk a little bit about minimalism. Um, I have been watching the minimalist documentary for the, I don't know, 14th time. I absolutely adore, adore the documentary. Um, I bought it on Vimeo way before it ever came out on Netflix. Uh, and so I can watch it anytime. Um, of course, if you have Netflix, you can watch it anytime too, but we don't have Netflix anymore. And I love that no matter how many times I watch it, it's always somewhat new and fresh. Like I always learn new things and new quotes pop out and new ideas pop out and philosophies. And there's so many deep thinkers and, you know, psychologists and all these people on there, all these um, really educated, smart people, and they have really good things to say. And most of us, the first time we watch it, are just like, what? And then the second time you're like, hmm. And the third time you're like, I think I'm starting to like, get it. Uh, because even though it makes sense the first time, we don't always fully understand it. And we don't always fully comprehend how that impacts our lives and how we can take that from a philosophy, as most of it is, and put it into practice in our lives. So needless to say, if you have not watched the Minimalist Minimalism documentary, go watch it. Netflix, Vimeo, maybe even YouTube. I don't know. Find it. And watch it every few months. Watch it every year. Watch it over and over and over to really, really get those concepts in your heart. If you are on a minimalism journey, it will not only challenge your mind and your mindset, it will also give you inspiration and help propel you forward in your journey. So here's the thing about starting a minimalism journey. People like me, people who are knowledge seekers, who really want to know the details, we're very detail focused, we tend to get hung up on the end result. And so we're like, ooh, minimalism. I want to be a minimalist. That's awesome. And then we start thinking, and we're like, oh, but I have all these heirlooms from my great grandma. And then I've got all this stuff from my childhood. And then, oh my gosh, my spouse and my kids have all this stuff. And we get so hung up on those things, those hard things that we can't even picture what it would be like to get there. Like, we're like, I don't know if I can do it all the way through. And so because I'm not sure that I can do those hard things at the end and get that end result, because I don't know the whole path of how to get there right now and it's not all laid out for me and I don't know step by step by step by step by step and I, I just don't know. We don't even get started. Have you ever been there? We don't even get started because we're so scared that we might not be able to finish and we might not be able to get that perfect end result. So here's the thing. Okay, friends, reality check. There is no ending. As long as you are alive, you will be bringing things into your house. Your kids will be bringing things into your house. Your spouse or your partner will be bringing things into your house. Your friends and your family are going to give you gifts. Stuff is going to come in your house. And unless you are intentional and you have a plan to deal with that stuff and you make it a way of your life and a daily practice, you're never, you're never going to get there. Um, minimalism isn't about getting there, although you will get to a point where you are through the major purging stage and you're into maintenance mode, but you're never going to be like there unless you're like the crazy extreme minimalist who has two bags of stuff and that you carry it with you everywhere. 
we're obviously not going to do that. And that's okay because minimalism looks different for everybody. And it looks very different for families with kids than single people. Very different. And that's okay. Minimalism looks different for everyone. It is based on you. It is based on what you value, the things that are essential to your life, the things that bring you joy, the things that help you to enjoy life without being distracted by the excess. So whatever is excess and not important to you, that's the stuff that's got to go. And if your house is full of just crap, there's probably a lot of stuff that needs to go. And it might be yours and it might be your family's and it might be your kids. You deal with it. You take it step by step by step. You start with the easy things and you work your way through. And it takes time. Nobody becomes a minimalist in a day unless they literally close their house and walk away from all their stuff. A minimalism journey does not happen in a day. <laughs> it does not happen typically in weeks or months. It usually takes years. So when we're talking about a simple living and minimalist lifestyle, if you are on a journey, I would love to hear about that in the comments below. Um, our journey is still, I'd say we're about 50% there. <laughs> we still have a lot to do and that's okay. But we're on a journey of simplifying and we're on a journey to better health and less stress and more life. And I love that. And we've seen humongous changes and benefits over the years. It just, it hasn't been quick and that's okay. So that's it for today's chat on minimalism in the minimalist documentary. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.